going to be doing a back to school makeup video. This is also kind of my everyday makeup for the summer. Anytime I'd go out somewhere in the summer, obviously not every day. On a normal day to day basis, I have no makeup on, but like in my vlogs where I have more natural makeup, this is basically what I'm wearing with a little bit of altercation. I just feel like this makeup is really fresh. So I wanted to create it for you guys on camera for back to school season because let me just tell you, this definitely is my running late makeup look for school. If I'm not running late to school, usually I'll add a winged liner to my look. I'm gonna do another back to school makeup tutorial with eyeshadows and winged liner and so that could be for middle school too, but you know, all to your personal preference and what you're allowed to wear and what you feel comfortable in. Stay tuned for all the rest of my back to school videos. Sorry I'm a bit behind schedule this year, but I definitely have a lot more fun things planned and throughout September as well. You could do this if you're in middle school or high school. I will have tips throughout the video of what to do if you're in middle school. This is definitely my go-to middle school look, but um, taking a few steps out. You could take out steps, you can add in more, do whatever you like to fit your preference. A lot of you guys were asking me to do a makeup tutorial, especially a middle school makeup tutorial so I feel like this is the perfect look for middle school like I said with the just less steps make sure to give me a thumbs up and drop a comment down below so I hope you guys are excited to learn how I achieve this look and keep on watching <laughs> So first, here I am priming my face with this makeup primer spray and they have a million of these drugstore and I'm also moisturizing my lips to just make sure they don't dry out while I'm doing my makeup. Here I am applying a BB cream. Usually I don't do this throughout the summertime, but if you want the coverage and quote unquote need it to make you more confident, definitely go for it and I definitely recommend this more for high school. And then I usually only apply concealer on a day to day basis and I will apply this under my eyes and on any blemishes and I will use a lighter one on my eyes and it more my skin tone on blemishes so then I will just set it all with a setting powder to make sure it lasts all day and now I will go in with this brow pencil that I love and fill in my brows Here I am bronzing the hollows of my cheekbones and just my cheekbones in general because I'm not really contouring and a little bit on my forehead and my jawline and here I'm actually contouring with the Anastasia Contour Kit. They also have a NYX one and a bunch of drugstore options will be linked down below for you guys as well as the products that I used and here I am just more sharply contouring and blending it out and then I go in with my favorite blush combo of all time and these are by LA Girl and they're beauty bricks and I love LA Girl products so much and I go for this little peachy color and a little dash of pink and then I'll go in with another Avon blush and I will blend this on my cheekbones and a little bit on the apples of my cheeks and blend back. Now highlighting, I love, love, love highlighting especially recently. I'll put this on the tips of my cheekbones or the high points of them and my nose and cupid's bow and inner corner of my eyes, uh, the brow bone and above my eyebrow, the arch of my eyebrow, and I love the way highlighting looks and the dewy vibe it gives. I love, love, love it. And now I don't really apply eyeshadow, especially when I'm in a rush, so I'll set it with some powder, and if you want another option for eyeshadow, read the text. Now I am lining my waterline and tightline and prepping my eyes for mascara. And I just love this because I have pretty short lashes, so... I like making them look more full and I'll set my face and mascara time so I have two all-time favorite waterproof mascaras this is the Cannonball by Urban Decay and then the CoverGirl Lash Blast and I will layer them on top of one another and it will keep the curl in sometimes I will layer a regular mascara on top for um, any volume or anything like that but this CoverGirl one does a pretty good job of giving volume and I just really like the way that waterproof mascara gives off just a better curl and it makes my eyes look bigger and more awake. I never left. 
here I'm going in with one of my go-to lip shades and for middle school just a recap I recommend concealer a little bit of powder a little bit of bronzing not contouring uh, some eyeliner in the waterline and tight line and mascara and whatever else you want to add here I am setting my eyebrows and I cleaned my lids with a q-tip and remember you do not need any makeup to be beautiful and I love you so much so I hope you guys enjoyed my back to school makeup tutorial if you watched up to here, I want you to comment a few things. First being what grade you're going into this year. Second being your favorite part of this video. And third, if you want to see more back to school makeup looks. Stay tuned for all the rest of my back to school video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone.